の国は黄金の国そのすべてこのペンギン様のものとする<笑>なんと不楽の超人情進め他の連中にこの緑の楽園を怪我させはしない百花両乱の樹毒城出すよ面白い誰が一番強いか思い知らせてやる一触即発の激砲城ぶっ飛ばすぜ刑事は来た敵は地獄ヶ原にあり表裏一体の総面寺を出陣ここはどこだ今の俺様はこの日本で一番の実力者大徳天魔王ジョーカー様だ日本から世界に放つ戦国タイムスリップアクションエンターテイメントこの時代にはこの時代の強さがある行くぞジョーカー忍者バットマン<笑>さあどうする Hey, so did you like that video? Are you a DC Comics fan? Well, stay with me as I have some awesome facts about the universe. Did you know that Adam Glass, writer for DC Comics and co-creator of the Suicide Squad series, received death threats after a picture of a newly designed, burly clothed version of Harley Quinn debuted in his series? Did you also know that Joker was originally supposed to die in his second appearance? He was saved, however, by editor Whitney Hellsworth, who saw the potential of the character to grow and what potential he has had. Did you know that DC once created a superhero called Vibe? He was a break dancer that danced for justice. He used his powers as a dancer to create sound waves. Mm. DC quickly found out it was a bit lame as a character and killed him off after a few episodes. Come on now, it would have been an awesome superhero. Imagine how cool he would have been. What about you? What do you think of a break dancing superhero? <laughs> wow. What's your favorite DC movie and character? Let me know in the comments below. Hey, so stay with me as I have some cool facts on Ben Affleck. Did you know that at 40 years old, he was the oldest actor to be cast in the role of Bruce Wayne Batman and that he is the tallest actor to play the character? Affleck is in fact an inch and a half taller than the version seen in the comics, who stands at 6 feet 2 inches tall. He is also the third Academy Award winner to play the role of Bruce Wayne Batman after George Clooney and Christian Bale. He and Clooney are both two-time Oscar winners and won their second Oscar together as producers of Argo in 2012. He is the first to have one before playing Batman. Remember Michelle Pfeiffer and her Catwoman costume? Who doesn't? Well, did you know that she had to be vacuum sealed into the latex costume? She could only wear it for limited amounts of time to avoid passing out. The costume was also so tight that she could barely hear how her own voice sounded and had to be instructed from director Tim Burton when she was speaking too loudly. Pfeiffer has been quoted as saying that once filming was over, she never wanted to see the costume again for as long as she lived. I can't believe it. Did you like Michelle Pfeiffer's Catwoman role in Batman Returns? Let me know below. And remember, we publish new videos every day, so be sure to subscribe for more great content. See ya!